Well, hello there. This is Mr. Duncan in England on the very last day of 2016. Some might say that this year has been one of the most turbulent in a long time, with political upheavals, scandals in sport, and of course, the unbelievable number of notable people who have passed away. 2016 has been a very eventful year indeed. On a lighter note, how was your festive holiday? Did you celebrate Christmas? Did Santa Claus bring you everything you asked for? I hope so. So, another year is coming to an end. How was 2016 for you? Did everything go as planned or were there some unexpected hurdles along the way to get across? The end of another year brings with it many things. We often end up reflecting over the past 12 months. We look back over the year and try to work out if it was a good one or not. Did I accomplish everything I set out to do? Did I do enough to make my life better? Will I look back and remember this year fondly or view it with regret? Perhaps you will come to the conclusion that despite all the negativity during the past 12 months, for you, it was not a bad year. It could have been much better, but then again, it could have been so much worse. As the year comes to a close, we normally begin making plans for the new one. We lay down some ideas for the following year. Perhaps there is a part of your life with which you are unhappy. You might feel as if some changes have to be made. A change of career, perhaps. Maybe there is some place you have always wanted to travel to. Perhaps next year will be the time to go there. We call these changes resolutions. These are the things we resolve to do. You might just have a couple of resolutions or maybe a great long list of things you wish to change. These New Year resolutions are a great way of kick-starting the new year in an upbeat and positive way. With each passing year, we all become a little older. There is nothing we can do to stop this from happening. It is inevitable, unavoidable, unstoppable. It is to be expected. If there is one thing I have noticed about life, it's that the older you get, the faster time seems to pass you by. When I was a young boy, time seemed to go by so slowly. The hours seemed like days. The days seemed like weeks and the months seemed like years, and the years seemed like forever. Youth makes fools of us all. It feels as if we will live forever. Time seems endless. Eternity is our playground. Of course, this is not true. Once you pass a certain age, time begins to speed up. The years seem like months. The months seem like weeks. The weeks seem like days. You find yourself asking again and again, what happened to this week? Where did the year go? Is it really December again? Of course, it's not all doom and gloom. There is a bright side to all this. Age need not be a hindrance or barrier. Time can also be its own reward. With age comes knowledge and wisdom. You are able to cope with things much better. 
those little surprises that life tends to throw at you become more bearable. Perhaps it is more about your own attitude to the passing of time rather than the occurrence itself. There are many things that exist in this world that can be described as a cliché. Some might say that life is one big cliché. We all know the story already. We know how it starts and we certainly know how it ends. But it is up to you to make the big chunk in the middle the way you want it to be. After all, life is what you make it. The period of time between Christmas and the New Year is a strange one. It feels as if everything is on hold. Some people take this time off while a few go back to work. Some do it by choice while others do not. The day after Christmas Day is called Boxing Day. This was traditionally the day when servants and tradesmen were given presents for their hard work during the year. The gifts were known as Christmas boxes, so the day became known as Boxing Day, the day when the Christmas boxes were given out. The phrase itself is still used today. It normally relates to money given at Christmas as a bonus. It is often given before the festive season arrives. These days, Boxing Day is observed in the UK as a public holiday. So, have you made any New Year's Eve plans? How will you see in the New Year? Some people get together and have a party so they can see in the New Year together. In Scotland, the New Year is seen as an important festival. It is called Hogmanay. This is the name the Scots give to the final day of the year. The traditional Hogmanay celebrations begin on New Year's Eve and go on right through the night until the next morning. It is common for firework displays to be held as the new year arrives. As the clock strikes 12, the fireworks will begin. Most major cities around the world have firework displays to coincide with the arrival of the new year. The most famous ones are Sydney, Hong Kong, New York and London. So this is the end of 2016 and what a roller coaster ride it has been. But how was it for you? Was it a good one? Let us all hope that 2017 will be a prosperous one and, however idealistic it might sound, for most of us, a peaceful one. I will see you all again next year, which is just around the corner. This is Mr Duncan in England saying thanks for joining me during 2016 and may I take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a joyous, happy, fun-filled new year. And of course, for the last time ever in 2016, ta-ta for now! <laughs>